In the next four minutes, I'm gonna walk you through steps that I took to create my first mobile app without lighting a single line of code, without spending a dime, and without following any complicated process. This app allows the student to keep track of the courses that he's taking, to set up an alarm clock to remind him of the time that he's supposed to study, but also to set up a timer to study effectively. It also allows the student to have a chat with the lecturer right there in the app. For me to create this app, first I I went to grog.com. I asked grog.com how to get started with the mobile app development without spending a dime, explain any steps like the way you would explain it to a 10 year old. Grog went ahead and delisted some of the steps that I was supposed to follow if I were to create this mobile app without lighting a single line of code. Among the steps, grog.com recommended that I should find a platform that allows users to create free apps I chose Glide.com. I went ahead and created an account with Glide.com. After I created an account, I landed on this platform. Glide.com is just amazing because as soon as I created the account, I was greeted by an interface where I would ask Glide.com a question and then it would respond right there, kind of the way we do with ChatGPT or Dipsy. So I put in this prompt, I said, I want to build a mobile app that will help me study. It should have a list of courses to study that day timer, reminder, and a chat box powered by Mistro AI. After a few back and forth conversation with Glide.com, I just say go ahead and start building. And Glide.com built me a beautiful mobile app that had all the features that I really wanted. And then I went ahead and customized the theme to my liking. Uh, Personally, I was going for a pep car, so I customized the app to have the car I wanted and I checked some other features that came with the app and I saw that it was perfect, it was ready to be published. So I clicked on the share button on the top right corner and it gave me the option to open it in the browser. I noticed that Glide.com has created a custom domain for my app. This is very crucial for the next step. The next step is to convert app from a web-based app into an Android app. For this one, we're going to use a new platform called webintoapp.com. So go ahead and sign up with the web into app and copy the link that guide.com had given you. Next, go ahead and fill in the app name and your company. And then set the icon for your app and then hit next. Once you click next, you're going to be taken to an app maker. There you'll be asked to put in the flash screen. Okay, this is the logo that comes in when you are booting up your app. Next, you're going to have an option to choose between a free Android app or a dedicated Android and iOS app. Because I didn't want to spend any time, I went for free Android app. And then the platform is going to take some minutes to create your app and when it's done, you're going to be redirected to this platform. Okay, once you're in this platform, go ahead and click on this button and your app is going to be downloaded onto your computer in form of a zip folder. Inside that folder, you're going to have an APK file. Take that file and install it in your phone and boom, you have your own mobile app without spending any dime. Take a look at how mine is working. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Peace out.